What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. And moving on to another limit question, another change of variable limit. So we gotta find the limit as x approaches zero of three minus the fourth root of x plus 81 all over x. Now we've gone through a bunch of change of variable limits already. If you're watching this on YouTube, highly recommend going to the website where you can find the link to it in the description box because I go through everything in order. And this example here is after a couple of other examples that I've gone through on the website. So I'm gonna go through this one in a bit of a quicker pace. So let's rewrite this limit first. So the first step is I'm gonna change that fourth root to be a rational exponent. So we'll have three minus x plus 81 to the power of one over four, all over x, right? To the power of one over four or the fourth root is the same thing. So the new variable, the change of variable we're gonna make is we're gonna start with this over here. So we're gonna let this be m. So we're gonna have x plus 81 to the power of one over four. So we're gonna put an m over here, but notice that if we're gonna change everything to be in terms of m, we gotta change this to be in terms of m, and then this part to be in terms of m. So let's start with the x. What we wanna do is we wanna isolate for this x here. So how can we do that? Well, notice we could take both sides to the power of four, because that would get rid of this rational exponent. So we'll have m to the power of four equals x plus 81 to the power of one over four, and then all of that is going to the power of four. Right, what we do to one side, got to do to the other, and then notice that those will cancel out. And so we would end up with m to the power of 4 equals x plus 81. Bring the 81 over. And now we have an expression for x in terms of m that we could plug in. And then finally, what happens as x approaches zero, we can look at this original. Well, as x approaches zero, what is m going to approach? It's going to approach 81 to the power of one over four, right? As x approaches zero here, we're gonna be left with zero plus 81, which is just 81. That's gonna be the power of one over four or the fourth root of 81. That's gonna be three. So we can, for x approaching zero, that's the same as m approaching three, and then we could sub in that expression for this over here. All right, so we're subbing in this for that, this for that, and then this for that portion. And so we're gonna end up with a new limit over here. So we'll have the limit as m approaches three of three minus m over, m to the four minus 81, right? And now this becomes a nicer limit to deal with. We could just do this with factoring. So what I'm actually gonna do is uh, in the numerator, I'm gonna take out a negative and we would end up with um, negative three plus m, right? Once we take out a negative, all the signs change, which would be the same as m minus three, so we'll have m minus three over here. The reason why is because we could tell that once we start factoring this denominator, one of the terms should be m minus three. We could also do the factoring and then one of the m minus three terms, we could take out a negative out of that and it become a three minus m, so we would factor out a negative in the denominator eventually, but just by the way it's constructed, we could tell that the m's are gonna go first in the denominator. So I just decided to reconstruct the numerator so the m goes first, but it really doesn't matter. You can also factor out the negative later on once everything is factored in the denominator, there's still gonna be a negative there. It's just not gonna be in the numerator, it's gonna be in the denominator, okay? so. Taking out a negative from the numerator, notice m to the four minus 81, that's a difference of squares, m squared minus nine, m squared plus nine. And then notice that this doesn't factor any further, but this is a further difference of squares. So we'll have limit as m approaches three, negative m minus three, 
uh, m minus 3, m plus 3, right? That's what this bracket is going to factor. And then we'll have the m squared plus 9. And then finally, the m minus 3s cancel out. Again, if you left the negative, if you left the numerator as 3 minus m, you would take out the negative from here. And then that becomes 3 minus m. And then those two would cancel out. Then you could just bring the negative up top if you want. All right, so now we can do um, a direct substitution. Actually, I just realized I should have mentioned at the beginning that we can't do a direct substitution at the beginning, right? It's obvious that when we plug in zero for x, we're going to get zero in the denominator. And then if we plug in zero for x up here, 81, the fourth root of 81 is 3. 3 minus 3, we're going to get zero in the numerator. So it's going to be in that indeterminate form initially, hence why we have to do all this. But once we do this work and these cancel out, now we could plug in this m value of 3. Notice the denominator won't be zero anymore. So after we do that, we would have 3 plus 3, uh, 3 squared plus 9 that so this would be negative 1 over 6 9 plus 9 18 so what do we get here negative 1 over um, 108 right 6 times 18 is 108 and then the negative 1 is up top so that ends up being the final answer negative 1 over 108 is what that limit approaches